Hi, my name is Kelsey and I'm here with the Virginia Beach Public Library today to teach you how to make a t-shirt tote bag. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you want to get more from the Virginia Beach Public Library, you can hit subscribe. Uh, you can also visit us on the web at www.bbgov.com libraries. That is linked in the description along with everything you need to make a tote bag. Let's get started. All right, to do this project, you will need a pair of scissors like these. These are fabric shears, that is preferable, but if you have just normal household scissors, those will work too. You'll also need a needle and thread, just like that, and some pins. Uh, they don't have to be fabric pins like this. If you have safety pins, that'll work too. You just need something that'll temporarily hold the fabric together while you're sewing it. And then you will also need your t-shirt. There's a few things to consider when you're picking a t-shirt. The first is how stretchy the fabric is. This one's a little sturdier. This one's a little stretchy. This one's even stretchier. So when I use this bag, because it's already made, um, it gets really stretched out. That might be what you're going for. You might like having that extra space, but if not, uh, consider using that t-shirt for a different project maybe. Another thing to consider is the design or logo because you will be cutting right along here to make your handles for your bag so in this case that would mean this getting cut off and if you don't want that that is not the right t-shirt for this project whereas this one you can get pretty low and you're going to get pretty decent sized handles to use with your bag another thing to consider um, as you can kind of see between the two of these uh, this bottom shirt is much bigger and is more of a square shape, whereas this one is a women's cut shirt, which means it, it kind of curves in a little bit and that'll affect the shape and the size of your bag. Um, so generally, if you can get a great big unisex t-shirt, that's going to be the easiest one to make a neat looking bag out of, but there really isn't any reason why you couldn't use that other shirt as a bag. So. Whatever you want to do is really up to you, but those are some things you might want to consider uh, before you start making your bag. So the first thing that you'll do is you're going to cut off your sleeves. And so that'll be right along this seam, nice and easy cut. The next step is to cut your straps. And like I said before, we're going to do that by cutting down here. Ideally, if you could um, cut all the way down to the bottom of your armholes here that would uh, probably look the best as far as a bag goes but that would mean cutting into my logo here I'm gonna be pretty cautious I'm gonna use this neck as my guide for my circle so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start and I'm gonna kind of rotate the shirt and keep my scissors in one place so I don't suddenly cut a whole lot more than I meant to all right, let's see how that looks. Honestly, not bad, bad. if you wanted to stop now, it's a tank top. <laughs> um, but as a bag, that would work. The, the, the main idea is that you can then bring these two sides together as a handle, and I think you can do that. Um, if you wanted to, you could go back and smooth out edges like this, but I am not too bothered by it. So this is another instance where it can be helpful to iron ahead of time and really press the two sides together so they're lined up but we're going to start pinning so i'm gonna do it right along the far side of the um seam here because i'm going to use that seam as my guide when i start uh sewing you're going to need to take your thread and cut off a nice big piece I would say at least as wide as the shirt itself um, because that's what the seam is going to be. Maybe a little bit bigger than that. But you don't want to do, I would say at most one and a half of the shirt um, because it can get tangled very, very easily. But you want to have more than you need so you don't have to go and get more thread. So the next thing you'll do obviously is thread your needle. Okay. And once you have your needle threaded, you're going to tie a knot in one end. And the easiest way that I learned how to do this is to cross it across your index finger, 
rub those fingers together and then pull. You have a teeny little knot there. And I'm gonna do that at least one more time here. We'll see how big it gets. Okay, so that should be big enough now that when I pull it through, it stays, it doesn't, it doesn't pull all the way through because then your thread will pull all the way through. Next, we're going to do a running stitch. And it really is very simple because all you're doing is, oops, pushing it. And I'm going to start from underneath and up, pull all the way through so that your knot catches. There we go. And then you're gonna do the other direction. And as you can see, I'm not going super far each time, but I'm just going back and forth. And as you're doing this, you wanna make sure you pinch, you pinch your needle so that the little tail here doesn't get pulled through all the way. You do want it to be pretty short. You don't want it to be so long that it gets tangled with the rest of the thread because then you will have problems. But you do want to keep it threaded. And you can see as I'm going along here, I'm taking the pins out um, because it's very easy. I, I personally, anyway, um, get stuck by the pins a lot as I'm working. So I try to get them out of my way as quickly as I can. And you can see I'm not being super straight or super even with any of these stitches. So I'm going to show you guys at this point that even with how far apart these are, that's a pretty tight stitch. Um, it's not going to rip apart. Okay, so unfortunately with how short this got, I can't show you the best way to do this, but um, what you can do is leave as you're pulling this last the second to last stitch actually through, leave it a little loose. I can definitely get under there anyway. Um, and you're gonna pull the end of your thread under there, whoops, a couple times, at least, at least a few times to tie it off and secure the end of your thread. So there you go, that's nice and tight in there. We're gonna trim the excess. All right, once you have all of your stitches done, uh, you'll notice there's a lot of extra fabric here and that will be on the inside of your bag when you get to the un unveiling. Um, so you wanna cut this extra fabric off. So I cut a little extra fabric off there and that means we can turn it inside out again to see our final product. Ta-da! So you can see I have a nice seam on the bottom here to hold all my stuff in. And that's basically it. All right, thanks for watching. For more programs and information about the Virginia Beach Public Library, please visit the link in the description. And if you make a bag, please share it with us. We have our hashtag in the description as well, where you can show us your own t-shirt tote bag. Bye.